So, welcome back to Web Gaming Central, everybody. We are back in Mass Effect. Mass Effect 1, we're going to play the entire series. Uh, Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3, all the DLC in between. Yes, that's a lot of videos, guys. So, I hope you're in it for the long haul. Please, um, make sure you comment throughout and let me know what your thoughts are, how you like uh, things. But let's get right to it. So, with this series, guys... If you didn't already know, it's going to be, um, there's a lot of dialogue in it, so I'm going to be quiet during the dialogue, but I will talk throughout the different parts of combat and all that jazz. So, let's get right to it. Uh, we're going to talk to Navigator Presley, see what's going on, or introduce ourselves. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheap, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No man, but I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war, lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board, especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Okay. <clears throat> see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Thank you. That's our navigator, Presley. And just so you guys know, um. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. All right, let's jump in on this conversation. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. 
Basically, that they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. I try not to think about a coos. Sorry, Commander. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I, I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. So, so awesome. I love, love the dialogue in this game. But just so you guys know, um, if you didn't know already, some notable names who are voicing these characters. Uh, the Flight Lieutenant uh, Jeff Moreau is uh, Seth Green. Somebody mentioned it in the first video. Of, um, it, it sounded like you didn't know. So, uh, yes, that is indeed Seth Green. Uh, Jennifer Hale is voicing my character, and she's an excellent voice actor, a actress. She's an excellent voice actress. And if you play games, chances are you've heard her in some other games as well. She has an impressive resume. Um... Kimberly Brooks will be voicing some other characters coming up, or another character coming up. I won't spoil it for those who've never seen this game before. Keith David, who you're about to meet in a minute. Um, well, he's the act, voice actor, but you're going to meet who he's voicing in a second. Um, Lance Henriksen, uh, awesome guy, awesome actor, actually. He's voicing um, some uh, somebody in the game. I won't spoil it. And... Ali Hillis, um, <laughs> probably my favorite voice actress in this game because she voices my favorite character in this game, so I'll save that for when that happens. But then um, there's some more actresses and actors that you will see, Raphael Sabarge, um, other notable ones, but you'll see it, and I won't just, you know, go through the whole list. But anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. The game is really voiced by some impressive talent. It's impressive talent. So let's keep moving. Meet Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It'll give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. 
Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they told us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world. But it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Okay. Let's Just go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 
Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Let's do it! Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Awesome. So here we go, guys. We finally touched down. This is Eden Prime. No, I never looked at it from this point of view. But yes, this is Eden Prime. So let's get going. So although the com combat is a little clunky here, let's get back to... Um, uh, yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. I think my character will start off... Start off with that. But my, my abilities, I need to... Which is only one right now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's just put that there. Slots, and we're going to switch to... Right, okay, so... Gas bags. Gas bags. Don't worry, they're hot. And let's go. Uh, some dead bodies. Q holsters my weapon. I guess it might be more realistic to have it out since we don't want to, uh, you know, get surprise, surprise shot. <laughs> that make any sense? So the epic ending of. Uh, are one and only. Poor guy. Lasted literally seconds into the game. So the combat in this game is a lot different than part two, apparently. And um, yeah, we'll get back to the conversation in just a second. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, ma'am. Alright, so, um, first of all, I'm really liking my female shepherd. She's pretty boss. She looks good. So, I like it. Uh, some more baddies coming up, uh, I'm pretty sure. So, there's some cover systems in this game a little bit. It's not uh, groundbreaking in any way. But, uh, it is what it is. Whoa, whoa, hello. Stay in cover, my lady. Now, in this case, I would, um, be using some, uh, biotics, but I don't have that talent this time, and I'm so used to playing that way. So, playing Assault will be fun. But this is one of the most negative parts of the game. Uh, if there is a negative part, but this is definitely one of uh, gear uh, management is really clunky. Uh, I'm going to take all of it. You'll see once I get to that screen where we have to manage it all, you'll be like, oh, mercy. <laughs> Trust me. Um, you'll say that. I was going to run a little bit. Woo! Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. But yeah, I like my female shepherd. I'm actually impressed with her, my creation. Um, and I... Well, I'm glad that was the case. I was a little worried that I would not like her after a while. But seeing how things are shaping out so far, I can pretty much tell that I, think we got I like her overall design, so her face is uh, nice. 
which is the only thing we know. But in enter Ashley Williams of the 212. <laughs> Ouch. It's really got to rearrange the spine there a little bit. Sheesh. And enter the Geth. And the news. But anyway, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, I love Ashley. She's uh, pretty cool. Uh, it was my first. Um, let's run for it. Got one. Got two. Uh, awesome. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Uh -huh. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out! Okay, I'm gonna take all. Alright, so, um, another thing, guys. I wanna try my best to act as if though I haven't played this game 50 million times. Um, so, I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm going to, um, again, just for those of you who have not played it, um, what I will do, do though, and this is the screen I was talking about. It's really crazy. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna actually do, not for Williams, though. I think I want that one. Let's go back to Jane Shepard. We're gonna do it for the pistol. Uh, can we throw this in there? Ammo upgrade, armor piercing rounds. Definitely want that. But this is what I'm talking about. You know, it's really clunky, all this. So I'm gonna put the, all the equipment and whatnot. So I uh, I can do some upgrades to this. First aid interface. Let's equip that. Uh, that's it for the armor, though. Yep, nothing on that. Nothing on that end, no mods there. So we're using everything now. Yeah, I believe so. Right, okay, so you're right. I'm not going to spend a lot of time in that. Again, it's fairly clunky, so I'm going to just go with what we have here. So let's keep going. Doing fairly well so far. Graphics still look really nice, though, for this game being fairly old. Old error. I hate to call it old. Came out in 2007. So, really close at a time that uh, 
that other game I'm playing right now, the movies came out, but the movies came out before that, this, so, about two years before this. Enough time for graphics to make a, well, then again, it has to do with the studio making the games, too. But, I guess I'm making a comparison that does not work, <laughs> but, uh, um, either way, I guess, you know, I was just trying to make a point that the game still looks great. Whoa, hello, how you doing there, buddy? Whoa. Talk about surprise. Surprise, surprise. I think we got him, Commander. Yeah, I think so now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the loot here, or the crate. Well, I call it loot, because that's what it is. Shotgun, new shotgun, and all that stuff. I'm going to see about equipping it in a minute. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Alright, so let's get rolling. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Could probably run this at 60 frames per second. In fact, I'm going to try to do that. Let me just see really fast if I can. Okay, so I am running this at about 40, 45 actually. So in fact, what I'm going to do Looks is like try to camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Yes, it is. Okay, let me t uh, try this real fast. Okay, so here we are. Oh, one second. There we go. Much better. Okay, so you guys can let me know ultimately how well if you see any frame rate improvement, but it. 30 is really great for this game. But uh, if I can push higher, I'll try to. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Yeah, now we're gonna fight these ignorant things. a little faster, but uh, I'm not too equipped. Yeah. Guess so. Let me have the mini game coming up here to unlock door. these doors. Security locks engaged. Hello. First time I'm going to do this, otherwise I'm going to skip this so we don't bore ourselves crazy. Sweet! Got it on the first try. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. Manuel. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. This dude is Soon, a genius. Only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. <laughs> we could hear the battle outside gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers, bringers Oops, of darkness, do that twice. heralds Oopsie. of our extinction. <laughs> I think we so. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, <laughs> screams. Whoopsie! I thought it would never end. Then everything was quiet. <laughs> we just sat there, too afraid to move. Until you came along. Until you came along. Let's try now. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. <laughs> Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit... 
Unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. The darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. <laughs> What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant <laughs> mind, but he's always been a bit... Unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra <laughs> dose of his meds after the attack. Ah, so tempted. But guys, this game I'm going to actually play um, neutral to good. Only because, you know, that's just me. And plus, there's plenty of evil videos. <laughs> evil. But videos where Shepard's being a total, um, <laughs> jerk, um, online. So, I'm gonna go good. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Saren is probably one of the best villains you'll see in a video game ever. But, um, yeah, he just, uh, man, look at here. For those of you who have never played this, I will not say what that is. Okay. But I think you know. Oh, I am good at the assault rifle. Duh. Yeah. Oh, by the way, let's go ahead and re-equip ourselves here. Um, I think that's it. Uh, as we first uh, explore the surrounding areas, make sure that uh, I know this game like back and forward, so you guys shouldn't miss much. Uh, before we go or into there, let's um, check out our. No, well, yes, I guess this is a good idea. Even I have some points that I did not distribute yet. Uh, pistols, combat armor, good shield boost, assault training, I do charm. Actually, let's cut back on that a little bit. Get that charm up. Uh, soldier, yep. That's just the way I want to spin those. Um, does that reset mines? Let me just make sure that it doesn't. No, good. Alright, here's a, yeah, because I have the computer pretty much, uh, given though, or setting these guys up, so we're good. So good, I set myself up. Now what I do is equipment, that's what I came in for. If we can get ourselves some better, uh, actually I can go right on ahead and just equip what I have. I don't have anything here though. But I do have new weapons, the Avenger, which is better in damage, less shots though before it overheats, but the damage is, is pretty good, so I'm going to... 
equip that gun, and that's how it looks. It does change its its look, look there. I can also toggle my helmet on and off, for those who don't know. But, um, yeah. So, let's see. Caden. This gun is the same, so it's not going to be better or worse. Shotgun, though. Which I'm not actually... Let me go ahead and equip, equip Ashley first. Actually, I was supposed to finish equipping myself, but... Um, I'll give her one of the strikers. Uh, sniper rifle. Now, she's good with that. Quiet is kept, though. So am I. No, I think the engineers are good with the rifles. I forget, to be honest with you. Armor upgrade. That might be something. Hey, oh, I see. Yeah, I'll give it to her. I'm cool with that. But, let me give Caden something new. So he doesn't feel left out. Because, uh, I'll give him the scimitars. Uh, whatever you call that thing. Scimitar, whatever. Sniper. Okay, so good. I think that's it, guys. I'm gonna cut out and uh, first save the game. Again, I uh, always like to save. But let's not stop the action, so let's go. Got some Omni Gel. Alright, let's go with this one. Always oh, suck at this. Ah, get in there. Cool. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. It almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. <laughs> Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. <laughs> you have something to tell me, Cole? <laughs> Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Yes. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. Awesome. I have to go. Got some good stuff from the guy. So we got the pistol and a weapons upgrade. So let's go ahead and take that. And let's go ahead and equip that. So, um, plenty of equipping. Of course, when you get the weapons, it's always a good idea, I suppose. So I'm going to go ahead and equip this. Yes, I'm going to take it. Thank you very much. It's a pretty nice upgraded weapon for this stage of the game. And we got it because we have our, um, our persuade, oh no, what is it, uh, negotiations? No, what exactly what it is. Charm is high, so that's why we were able to get that. So let's get back to it. Get back to what we were doing. Caden definitely can go for a heal. So... There it is, it is F. 
wasn't too sure. I keep thinking I can jump here. Why am I going this way? I don't know. Let's go ahead and get back on the right track up the stairs. And look at our friend. Come on. It's Nihilus. Take that, Mary Jo. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Can't imagine, man. Can't tell me about imagine. this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down and it was making this noise this this sound that bored right into your brain that's what woke me up the attack came a few minutes later how come you're the only one who survived why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates they never had a chance I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. <laughs> you survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Let's go. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. <laughs> this dude was robbing from the military. So we get a grenade upgrade. Oh, hello. Ooh. Oh, we do a little bit of a... Alright. 
this the part where <laughs> it gets interesting because this big old big for nothing dude. Shoot this guy from here. Which I can't, by the way. Because it's shooting through the wall, apparently. Okay, Caden, try not to die on me here. Why is this thing not dying? Hey, you bite it through. Oh, right, 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 right. I have to command him to do that. That's right, I totally forgot. Ah, biotic throw. That was my lesson, so they keep the thing alive so we can learn the lesson. Excellent. And there's been plenty of times I've died there, countless. Good job, me. Good job, me. Okay. that dude. Let's move it up. Alright. I'm gonna start running. That's gonna be really bad. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, surprisingly, he didn't start running for it. Oh, there's some more shooters out here. Hello. Kind of crouch there. Okay, don't want to crouch. Whew. Can't heal just yet. So let's wait to this thing. Um. <laughs> awesome job, me. Gotta get that aim back. Come on, bring it in. Good job. And you. Alright. Uh, Caden will stay dead until we kill, <laughs> kill this last dude. Okay. Right. That's one of the problems. They didn't follow me because I had those guys in cover. So here we go. And we're about to end the video, guys. We've uh, been playing for about an hour. But we're gonna get a little further before we do that. Uh, don't forget to let me know your thoughts. We have about ten minutes. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Prothean Beacon. Setting some bombs, so this is where we can, um, where we will have to unarm these bad boys and see if we can get off this planet uh, in one piece after we find what we come looking for. So, uh, let's go. Starting with this one. Sorry, it. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need we to have, find them all and we're shut on a them timer. down. We are indeed on the timer, so we have to find them and find them quickly. So let's hope we don't get killed in the process, which I'm being shot in the back. Awesome sauce. Sauce is awesome. Of course, I forget where they all are. Of course, and none of them are over here. So let's make a run for it. And of course, Caden dies again. Whoa, and we are having some company. Sorry, guys. Bad planning on my part. Ouchie. Yeah, that's a good idea. What are they looking my question of the day. Excellent job, guys. There's another bomb. For which we uh, kind of get out of cover. Thank you. Let's disable this one. Alright, come on. Hurry it up. We only have one squad mate helping us here. And we have to kill these guys in order to... So he goes into cover. That's just awesome. There's another one over here. We got two more that we gotta take out. Oh my god, he has a rocket launcher. That's the part you wanna use when you are in trouble. When you can't 
aim straight. <laughs> so, and it has a fairly fast enough cooldown, I suppose. Um, we're still down one important member. Okay. Why would I want to do it that way? Sheesh. Well, Caden's kind of. Well, he was kind of dead, but anyway. Whoa, who is shooting me? Uh, how about we don't crouch there? Okay, good. Alright, so... Uh, how did I crouch? Oh, control. Let's not press that again. Okay, so that, we're down to one more bomb, which is close by. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's right over here. Sweet! I love this game. I miss this game a whole lot. Let's actually bring those guys. Yeah, there we go. So, this is... We're close. Let's go ahead and open up some crates. Oh, yes. Take it all. Let's equip them all. I'm going to equip them off the screen, guys. So, one second. Okay, so everything is equipped. Let's keep it moving. We have some more enemies over here. Plenty, in fact. Reload. And some uh, other enemies. That one. Some more interesting issues in a second. Yeah, these guys. Those interesting issues. You know what? Give me that shotgun, please. Oh no, that's not the shotgun. Uh, in fact, this is what I wanted. There you go. There we go. A little stopping power there. Not now, Commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's save. Guys, always good to do that. Never, ever not save. Okay, so let's move on and in this mission. After we pick up everything there is to pick up. So, one second. Okay, just took a little lap around just to catch some uh, loot. Let's go ahead and end this mission. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Uh oh. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Somebody's not happy. Angry much? <laughs> we pissed somebody off. Yes, we did. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? 
Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our EXO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turia. Saren's a Spectre. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue Spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? <laughs> we don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Not if I can do anything I'll about it. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. So guys, that's where we're going to call it a day. Let's go ahead and save our progress, and we'll be back in the next video to continue on this great story. So, um...
again, let me know if I'm being too silent. Uh, you know, I try to make sure I let you experience and enjoy this game for what it, you know, really is. I don't want to interrupt any key part, key part, parts or points. So, um, let me hear your thoughts in the comments, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will definitely see you all in the next video. Okay, signing myself off.